Coming to you from Radnor, Pennsylvania, this is your Location Sports Update. Hello everyone, welcome to Sports on Location. I'm Brian Nestle. And I'm Dion Allen. Thanks for joining us. An impressive streak for the Carini men's soccer team comes to an abrupt halt. The Carini women's soccer team made a late season addition to their roster. But first, we start with some weekly award winners from the Colonial States Athletic Conference. Four Cabrini student athletes were recognized by CSAC as they announced its weekly award winners. Senior men's soccer goalie CJ Saratore was named CSAC Defensive Player of the Week as he led the men's team to two consecutive shutouts. Teammate and classmate AJ Bishop, field hockey junior Alex Swallow, and women's soccer junior Gabby Legende were named to their individual sports weekly honor roll. The men's soccer team will return to action October 22nd as they travel to Marywood University to face off at noon. The women's soccer team and the field hockey team are both scheduled to play October 19th. Speaking of A.J. Bishop and the men's soccer team, the Cavs have been on a tear since suffering a 3-2 overtime loss to Centenary at the beginning of October. They went on a four-game win streak, scoring 13 goals in four games. Meanwhile, goalkeeper C.J. Saradour held opponents scoreless for 409 straight minutes. But both the shutout and win streak ended on Tuesday in a 1-0 loss against Immaculata. The Cavs finished with 12 shots on goal on the day, but could not find a net as they dropped the 4-2 in CSAC play with only three games remaining until the postseason. The women's soccer team has had much success lately, winning six of their last seven games as they gear up for a run at their sixth straight CSAC title. But even though things are going well, they made a roster change, adding a player late in the season with the help of Team Impact. Here's the story of the newest addition to the Cavs soccer team, Lucy, and how she's made an impact on the Cabrini community. In 2011, Team Impact was created to bring courageous children who suffer from terminal diseases or who are chronically ill onto sports teams to improve their quality of life. Team Impact not only enhances the lives of the children who are ailing, but they also teach the athletes life lessons that cannot be taught in a classroom. Team Impact helps students and children come together to push through the challenges of life on and off the field. About three years ago, they contacted us um, because they had a student that they wanted to match with the team and um, so they'd reached out to us to see if we would be interested and um, we jumped at the opportunity. The Team Impact children are members of the team from draft day through graduation. They are able to attend practices, games, and team social events. This year, women's soccer was matched with Lucy Cutts, a 13-year-old who suffers from epilepsy. When I first heard of the Impact program, I was a bit of both. I was nervous because I wasn't sure if they were going to like me or not. Um, and I was excited because if they did like me, I would um, have some more friends. No one is mean and no one bullies her, but they tend to ignore her. She's not invited to birthday parties anymore. She's not really, um, doesn't have a group of friends she used to hang out with like before the diagnosis. So that's why Team Impact is such a great, great, um, thing for Lucy to participate in. Lucy's impact, I think, has been on many, many levels. Number one, her positivity has, I think, been infectious throughout our team. Her sense of humor is awesome. Every day she comes with, it, with a joke of the day. And it's been great, so she looks forward to telling us that. But in the end, like what Lucy does every day, she gets up and she fights her battle, and it shows you really what strength is. Sactor was an interest um, before uh, the program. My favorite soccer team is the Cabrini Cavaliers. A great way for the Cabrini women's soccer team to give back and realize that they're playing for much more than a trophy. They're playing to inspire others to never give up. 10.32 a.m. October 15, 2016. That's a timestamp the Cabrini women's rowing team won't soon forget as they embarked on their first ever regatta. The Cavs' novice eight finished 14th out of 16 teams finishing the 5,000 meter course with a time of 19 minutes, 14 seconds, and a field flooded with Division I schools. But the boat finished ahead of the two other Division III schools in the event. They returned to the water October 29th for the head of the Schuylkill Regatta. This fall, Cabrini will be offering lots of fun intramural events from basketball to roller hockey. This month, Cabrini will feature inner two polo, dodgeball, volleyball, and flag football as intramural sports. To register for those events, please head to the imleagues.com slash Cabrini to create your free account and sign up for your sport of choosing. Signing up for any, any roles, Dion? Um, I have seven classes, but if I have time in between, then I might pick up 
maybe dodgeball. How about you? Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. Inner two polo <laughs> sounds great. Yeah. But that'll do it for this edition of Sports On Location. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you follow us on all of our social media platforms, such as Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat. Just search Local Media. I'm Brian Nestle. And I'm Dion Allen. Have a great week, Cabrini. <laughs>